Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I got another movie review for you. Uh, kind of weird. It's raining somewhat today. Yesterday it was really, really nice. Uh, but the nice thing is it cools things down so it won't be as hot. It was semi-hot yesterday and somewhat hot Friday. And uh, the movie I have to review is something I heard about a few months ago and I was waiting for it to come on Netflix and finally did. It's called The Resurrection, the Resurrection of Jake the Snake. And basically this is about the story about Jake the Snake Roberts. And he was really big in the 80s and very early 90s. And then his career, you kind of didn't hear about him anymore. Until I saw the movie Beyond the Mat. And you knew him Beyond the Mat. He said some of that was... Uh, in this movie, he said some of that movie was... Uh, they told things out of context. But in that one, it looked like he, was, uh, he wasn't really big with, on his kids and stuff like that, you know. He had like a strange relationship with his kids and he was really addicted to drugs and alcohol and stuff. And this one, he's really on a, down on his luck, addicted to drugs and alcohol. And then he gets together with Diamond Dallas Page. And Diamond Dallas Page created this uh, like DDP workout. I mean, DDP yoga and stuff like that. And this whole workout in that people call life changing. That's what that one show said. And um, he was... Uh, he reached out to Jake the Snake Roberts, and uh, you know they started. Uh, he started turning his life around, but it wasn't easy. I don't want to give away the whole thing. It's a documentary, and there's interviews from lots of wrestlers and stuff like that, and it's really good and really uplifting. It's a very good movie, very good. I wish I could have watched it with my dad, and um, they also reached out to Scott Hall, and Scott Hall said that. Uh, and they have Scott Hall, someone, Scott Hall really let himself go, he really got addicted to, he said he was drinking vodka for breakfast, you know, he was really an alcoholic, mostly, it's about, it's about both drugs and alcohol, but mostly in this one, to my knowledge, they're not using it all in the movie, but they're, they're drinking, you know, and they're trying to get them to stop drinking and lose weight, get back in shape and turn lives around, very good movie, very good. I remember I heard uh, Jenny Richardson talking about it, and, um, uh, one other person, and I, I was waiting, I was waiting, 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 and finally it's on Netflix. Definitely a very, uh, a good movie to wear watch. It's really awesome. I mean, they, they've had, Netflix has had some, uh, other ones. They had that one about the Iron Sheik that I didn't even know was out there. That was a good one on Netflix, too. And Netflix needs to get some more good movies out there. I definitely would watch more of these. Some more wrestling content, but I mean, The Resurrection of Jake the Snake is a great movie. I mean, I couldn't give it, I mean, very uplifting and uh, great message, you know. You know, it's very emotional, too. It's a great, great film. And uh, I give it a 10 out of 10. I mean, what else could I give it? It's great. It's, it's definitely well worth watching. If you have Netflix, check out The Resurrection of Jake the Snake. It's fantastic. So until next time, right, please.